if you have neck pain, headaches, stiffness, shoulder problems, this video is for you. And this video is also requested by our lovely viewers. Hi, my name is Markus and I'm a clinical physical therapist from Finland. In this video we will teach you how to release your upper trapezius muscle, upper traps at home with the deep myofascial release technique. This exercise will relax your shoulders, increase your range of motion and it dissolves the trigger points that might refer pain upwards to your head. Before we continue, remember to hit the like button and subscribe because the videos we're gonna release on this channel will take your health to the next level. Let's talk briefly about the upper traps. Where is it and what does it do? The upper trapezius starts from the occipital region and cervical spine and attaches to the clavicle collarbone. The upper part rotates your shoulder blade via moving the clavicular bone. And this movement is really important if you want to lift your hands up without pain or restrictions. It also side bends your neck, your head and rotates it. So yeah, it's an important muscle. Upper trapezius and the whole trapezius complex is a key player in the upper body movement and moving your head, moving your hands and head. Also, upper trapezius muscle trigger points may refer pain to your temporal region. So maybe the temporal pain, the headache that you have is a problem of the trapezius muscle. So many of our clients resolve their headache issue or temporal pain issue by releasing this muscle and trigger points that lie in the muscle. It is also important to remember to strengthen the upper traps and other muscles in the region. If you want us to do a video on this topic, on strengthening postural muscles, then let us know in the comments below. A word of warning before we start. If you have any infections, inflammation, sprains, wounds, any other pathologies in the region, or you have any diseases that are a contraindication for deep tissue massage, then don't do the following exercise. All right, so you want to grab a broom handle, a stick, a staff, and a surface a little bit higher than your waist to put the other end of the broom handle on. So we use uh, our lovely but ugly window pane and the corner in it, but you can use a shelf as well. And it really depends on your height. So put the towel on the surface so you don't scrape the paint off of your cupboard or your surface, whatever. <laughs> and then you put the handle on it, broom handle on it. And then next comes step one. Step one, scouting for the trigger point. So lean a little bit forward and then bring the broom handle to your upper trapezius. Then start to search. Do you have any sweet spots here? So that means that it's painful. All right, if you don't find it, you can lean a little bit further or you can come back like this and try if you have anything here. But I like to do it this way. I relax the trapezius or don't, I don't relax, but I uh, shorten the trapezius by bringing my head over to the side that I'm working on and then search for a place. And yeah, now I find that here's, a one, here's one spot that is a little bit tighter. It's not painful. And then next comes step two. Step two, releasing the trigger points. So now I have found the place and I put pressure on it and then I start to stretch my head away from the affected side. So this is one way of doing the exercise. Do as many reps as you need to feel the release of this muscle. So 
the pain starts to fade away, that's the first sign that the muscle starts to release. If it takes more than two minutes, then stop and search for the next trigger point. It's not worth doing a half an hour session on one point. It's pointless. <laughs> You can rotate also the head and do it like this. This changes the muscle fiber angles and is, it gives different, different input to the muscle. All right, then search the next place. And if you find a really painful spot, you don't even have to do the stretching technique, the myofascial release technique. You can start to do a friction work. You can rotate and massage it. So maybe it's more posteriorly the trigger point angled so you can lean forward and do it. So remember to keep the pressure downwards and then massage it. And you can also do the stretch and then start to do the rolling trigger point release technique. And don't do this daily, have rest days between your sessions because the tissue needs to get healed and don't do it before lifting or doing any, any heavy duty work with your hands. The day you do this exercise or the day after you might feel a little sore from the region but that's normal and usually goes away on its own in one to three days. Step three is profit. Enjoy your relaxed shoulders and increased mobility. Remember that releasing trigger points isn't the magical fix that cures everything. You need to strengthen your postural muscles. You need to learn motor control skills, movement control skills, and also mobilize the neck region. So if you are interested in stuff like that, then definitely subscribe to our channel. We will deliver. See you on the next one. Moikka!